So the big thing to know about watercolor, Louise, the difference between watercolor and acrylic is that acrylic, you can layer on top of each other. Light, you can lay darks down and then put your lights on top. In watercolor, you have to preserve your lights. So the lightest parts of this bunny, you're not going to paint at all. So, and when you do the dark parts, we're going to build them up slowly, right? So <laughs> you're going to start, although like really, truthfully, um, so I'll, I'll walk you through it. It mostly, we're going to start with the drawing anyway, so we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, everybody, let's do this. Sandra, I love these bunny paintings. I love these bunnies. Absolutely. Debbie so Ann. She has a family, if that's right, she has a family of hairs. And she sends so many photographs. They're all oh, and they're, they're, and they're not epic. Of her. <laughs> they're not afraid of her, and she has a really good camera, so so the detail is really good. I just the, can't like believe she got that. It's amazing. So I know we talked about too. Um, we're gonna do the chipmunk tomorrow in uh, ink. Um, by the way. Louise, if you wanted to join the drawing class tomorrow, you could totally do that with watercolor. We're working with ink, but it's very similar. So okay. same time. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, but I love this bunny, first of all, because I realized we haven't done bunnies, really. Or if we have, we haven't done them in a long time. I think of that almost as Sandra's purview, because that's where she started with watercolor a long time ago. I'm like, don't want to step, you know. But so I'm very excited about this, because I feel like uh, there's a lot of drawing a negative space work that we can use to get things in the right places. One of the issues in drawing is that these ear, putting the ears in the right place, right? And putting them in the right place in relation to the head in relation to the body. So we're gonna, we're gonna work on that. Um, I'm gonna start with a little sketch. Let's see here. All right. Um, Louise, do you have WhatsApp on your phone? Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you can open it, I'm going to send you, we have a thread for this class, so you can send me what you're working on. Here, hold on. Let me just see if I can grab it. By the way, Louise, I missed your introduction. Are you Polish? Uh, no, I'm, I'm Danish, but I am based in oh, Poland. Oh, you're Danish. Cool. Oh, <laughs> yeah. cool. They're all talking, uh, they're all talking in their secret language over here. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Sandra? Where are you from? I'm French. Okay. But I spent a long time in Reuters in London, and now I've been in America 20 years. I've become American as well. Wow. So yeah. it's a bit of a mixed accent, but I'm yeah. French. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hold on. I'm looking for the Friday. Hold on, I think this is the link. Louise, I'm gonna email you the link for the chat. Oh, thank you. Here, hang on. I can't do too many things. Gosh, I cannot, wish I was more technologically savvy. Um, we I emailed you, yep, there we go, okay. So you can join that at your leisure. I'm going to send pictures across as we work because sometimes it's hard to see and sometimes you need to look at something more closely. Um, we're obviously going to start this with, uh, with a drawing in black and white. I have the colors. I have a color version, right, which we will get to later. But it helps in the black and white to see the values. Uh, value is the lightness and darkness. So there are like light shapes and dark shapes, and we want to be able to see those really clearly. Um, so I'm going to take a picture of this and send it across the thread so you guys have it. There we go. But I'm going to start doing some sketching on it just to show you give you guys a couple of ideas. All right. So uh, I'm going to run a sketch through the highest part of the rabbit down to the lowest part of the rabbit. So that's why I did it here. I drew this line here. Um, I want to get the highest part. I want to get the height, the vertical distance first. 
And then I'm going to find, you just watch for a minute while I find. In fact, you know what? It's actually, can you guys tell me by looking where the halfway point is on the rabbit? So just to remember, and uh, Louise, I know this is new for you. <clears throat> if you've ever seen anybody standing like this, right? And wondering what they're doing, they're measuring. So what they're doing, and I'm going to see Tim, I'm holding my arm straight and parallel to the paper. I'm not bending it in. I'm not bending it this way. I'm holding it parallel to the paper. I am going to mark. I, I say around the eye. Let's see. Around the eye, bottom of the eye, top of the eye. I, I don't know, but approximately the eye. Okay. Uh, I, can, I can measure. I didn't measure. Measure. I'd like you to measure. Okay. Are you measuring from the top of the paper or from I'm the I'm measuring top from here, here, from the bottom okay. of this line to the top of this line. So where okay. is the halfway point, right? The bottom of the bunny to the top of the bunny. The and you'll notice. The, the bottom yeah, so, of the eye. Yeah. The so you'll notice that I have my my thumb where I think the halfway point is, and I've got my uh, my the top of my pencil lined up, and then I'm literally just going to keep it, keeping my arm straight. Ah, sorry, it's so hard to look at this in two areas. I'm coming down to see, is it the same on the top as it is on the bottom? See that? So the key is keeping your arm straight, keeping your pencil parallel, not pulling it back or pulling it forward, because if you pull it back or forward, the measurements change, right? They, as things get farther away. So, uh, so what, I'm sorry, Diana, what did you say? Where did you think it was? Bottom of the eye, bottom, yeah, standard eye. Yeah, like about here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Anybody else see differently? And then I can come back, of course, and check this. So notice, I'm not using my, um, I'm not using a, I'm not using a ruler and I'm not dealing with numbers, right? I'm, I'm talking about spaces. So the whole idea of drawing and painting is spatial awareness, right? Spatial. How do things fit together? A little bit like a puzzle, right? You have to, you can't just think about whatever you're, the subject you're working on. You have to think about all the things around. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing again with the halfway points. I'm going to find another halfway point. I'm going to divide this half and half. So one of the things I like to do is maybe check it, mark it where I think it is, and check. Yeah, it's about right. And then I could just go one, two, three, because this will divide this line into quarters. Three, four. So why do we do this? Well, one of the things this helps us with is to show us where things uh, kind of lie. Diana made a really good observation, which is that the eye is kind of contained just above and to the right of this halfway point. <clears throat> Anybody see any other useful? Are the quarter points telling you anything useful that you can put into words? Annika, anything useful? What are the quarter points telling us? Well, I mean, you can see how the head is in relation to the to the half and the next quarter point and you can see yes yeah, so you can see the head is contained like yeah. kind of halfway here and half and a little bit of the two third two thirds of the way down here right the ears <clears throat> the ears kind of come one and a half right so so there's a lot of things that these quarter points are useful for and then the second thing we do is to draw at the halfway point, a line across the middle. It's a, it'll stop right here. And that's where this middle line at the halfway point goes to the farthest edge of the rabbit on the left and the farthest edge on the right. So in this case, one of the things to observe as we translate this, the, this structure over here is that we are, I'm not expecting you to do a one-to-one -one transmission. You can go smaller or larger. It does not really matter what the size is, but proportionally things have to be the same. So one of the things I'm gonna check here, 
is if I want to see how I've established a, a vertical distance, uh, I want to see how wide my width is at the halfway point to the vertical distance. And I can see it comes up to about, I'm going to use a different thing, it comes up to about here. So the width at the widest point is as high as this. So why do we do this? We're gonna come over here. I'm gonna sketch on my paper to a bit to the uh, a bit to the left, right? So I have enough room. And I'm just gonna do a straight vertical line down. Uh, is it the same as this one? I don't know. I don't really care. That's not important. It could be twice the size. It could be half the size. Um, but I still need to find, I can randomly determine how long this is going to be. And in fact, I'll probably just bring it all the way down to the ground here. Oops. Did I freeze? What's going on here? Unstable. Unstable internet. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to, here. What do you see? Yeah, oh, it's she, just. She's back now. Am I? Yeah. Am I back now? Yep. Oh, hey, Cookie. Hey, Cookie. <laughs> Am I back now? No yes. longer shaking my finger at you. Wow. Now, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am bringing, I'm making my line fairly long. <laughs> Hopefully I can fit my rabbit on here. And so here's my bottom line here, ignoring this. And I'm using a pencil, yeah. right? Bottom, top. And then I'm going to find my halfway point. I can do that. I can use a ruler, but you don't have to. I like this method, kind of guessing and then checking by lining up my pencil here. Oh, that wasn't right. Yeah, I made Down lower. I made a mistake too. Yeah. Maybe more like that. Let's try here. One, two, there we go. Uh, Maybe it has to come up just a little bit. Nope, there we go. So I found my halfway point here. Is it the same proportions in this? No, this one's bigger, doesn't matter. What I do know is I'm gonna also find my quarter points. Yep. See how I'm checking? I'm going to divide this in quarters. And then I'm going to mark up here, which is a little bit below the halfway point of this quarter. So if I came here and then came down a little bit, this is my width. So I know, oh, that's not long enough. Here, this is great. This is a ruler that I can use as a straight edge. You absolutely cannot see any numbers at all. It has so much paint on it, you can't see it. So notice, I'm, oops, here, so you can see. I'm marking with my bottom finger. I've got my the top of my straight edge lined up with my width point. I've got the bottom where my finger is. And then I'm going to come over here. Yes, I think I just have room. And I'm going to mark here and here. Line it up with the halfway point. So once again, this is what I would like to see first before I see anything else. I'd like to see you recreate this structure. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is check like how far over that, how much is on this side and how much is on this side. One of the things I do is I'll check, let's see, I'll take this length and go one, two, three, four. It's really divided into equal fifths. So I can come over here and go one, well, one, two, 
three, four. Ah, so really, I need to move this a little bit this way. And for me, it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah. It'll be different, right? Like guessing. Let's see. Let me check again. One. I'm going to I, I go to painting and correct it. My Why is yours the other way around, Diana? What are you doing? Because I put it too. I'm sorry. I put it she too put it far. too far this way. Uh, One. It's OK. One. Three, four, five. Uh, maybe more like here. So notice I'm kind of fiddling around with this edge. The length stays the same, but I'm I'm moving it and I'm remembering. I want to make sure. I think this is it. One, one two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that's it. I believe it's from here to here, and I'm just going to check it. Oh, no, that got too big. All right, so. Uh, a lot of erasing going on, that's okay. These numbers may feel confusing to you at first. One, two, three, four, no, that's too far. Got to come in a little bit. It's probably like halfway. This number and this method may feel confusing to you. It's actually incredibly logical. The biggest problem you're going to have is that your brain has all kinds of ridiculous ideas about how big and small things are that aren't going to really help you when you're trying to measure. Three. There we go. So one, my stopping point is here and here, and I'd like to see that, and, and I will check it, check the proportions to make sure they are correct before you go any further. Why is this important? This is totally important because if you don't get these proportions right, you're not gonna get your bunny, the pieces of your bunny in the right place. If you don't have a sense of how high versus how wide. So what I've done is basically define proportionally the width to the height. So you have the, the widest angles. So go ahead and so I'm gonna send this over. So you guys can see it. I'll send over this. And then I'm going to send over my measurements. Uh, so please send me on the WhatsApp thread. Louise, are you on yet? No, sorry, I don't. It's it's a bit. Um, yeah, I can't get on it, basically. <laughs> You can't get on the WhatsApp thread? All right, let me see if I can find uh, the one. You keep working. <clears throat> Hold on. Can you send it to a different email address? Is that possible if I send it to you? Um, yeah, or let's see. I wonder if I have you in my, actually, if I have you as a contact, this is a thing I never know. Hold on, let me just see something. Let me just see if you show up in my contact list. So how long have you been in Poland? No. In five months. Oh, she's oh. new. Yeah. <laughs> um, hang on. Like I'm going to get yeah, it. Like it. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to email you the link again. And yes, I'd like you to tell me. Let's see. Hold on. Invite via link. Uh, share link. Yes. Tell me your best email. No, fuck. No, sorry. Hold on. Tell me your best email I can send this to. I just popped it in the chat. Got it. Is Perfect. LB. Are. Thank you. 
Yeah, hold on, it's coming over. I might have accidentally sent you an old one. So how do you like your new colleagues? Yeah, it's, I really like it. There's a really nice uh, team spirit. It's a good working environment. So. Those guys are great. Yeah, yeah, they really are. All right. I just sent it to you. See if you Thank got you. it. Thanks. Yeah. But also focus on the task because okay. you can also hold something up for me. So I can look at it. So Annika, when you've got it, send it over. Sandra, when you've got it, send it over. The grid, your so I really portion. Got really late, was waking up so late and feeding the cats and having to change the ink of a printer. Yes, I know. I was like watching you rushing around. Don't worry. It's one <laughs> of those classes. <laughs> I can't seem to get my act together. <laughs> Some mornings are like that. I know you were like, are we in ink oh, today? This is painting tomorrow. Yeah, I'm completely muddled. I'm so there. I'm so with you. <laughs> <laughs> and I did see the other ones. Thank you for sending those, Sandra. I felt the first group you sent me was a little bit too um too new, too much the same value, not enough value uh, differentiation. Yes, but I was thinking that it was ink. I hadn't seen you reply yet. And yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love the guess. two that I picked were perfect, Annika. Yes, let's see. We might get wonderful texture with the horns, for instance, in ink, you know? Right. Annika, I like how you lined this up. Let's see. Oh, except your width isn't high and your width isn't wide enough. Your width has to be up here. Yeah. Check your width. Uh, what I see is it's not high enough. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You're right. Hold on. Rechecked it. Yep, that's good. And I like how you kind of backed this up against the edge. Very nice. Very, very nice. You did that well. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Excellent. That looks great. Um, Louise, are you on? I'll just take it. Picture. Send. Yeah, take a picture and send it through. Make sure you take your picture directly, hold not at an angle like this, holding your phone. Yeah. Uh, make sure anyway. Make sure you're taking a straight on picture. Um, so these little marks we've given give us more information. I want to pop these on here. One, two. Four, five. Let's see. There we go. Gotcha. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, so you're going, you're going to bring your tip all the way, you want to bring your ear all the way to the top, Louise, with no space. That's okay. No, that, that's not intentional, actually. Well, so <laughs> okay. that's where that, so that line, yeah, it needs to come down a little bit, and then you'll yeah. need to shift your, yeah. your quarter points. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then this halfway. So do that a little bit. So, yeah, so go ahead and redraw that, right? Yeah, that's okay. This is totally what happens, right, as we start to measure. I've never seen, like anyone get more flustered in measuring than uh it's funny kids kind of struggle with it but grown-ups have a harder time with it particularly those of us who used to use rulers and things like it's really overwhelming it seems to be a skill that's kind of not, like kind of like map reading you know how nobody really reads a map anymore it's a whole set of skills that you need to kind of keep practice so getting on it it's a little rusty. It may be a little bit rusty as you're starting to figure that out, measuring. All right. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to do a couple of things. So the first thing I'm going to do is sketch some negative spaces for us to start to figure out the space of the ears next to each other. Yeah, they're very close. Yes, but that, that doesn't really um, 
I mean, I don't know. Is that true? There's a big giant space between them. I mean, their bottom is, Higher but up. I don't, yeah. I don't up. actually say So that's, yeah, that's the thing, right? I, we get I these get too wide space to start with. Right. We get these ideas in our head about our spaces and what we need to do with them. And in reality, we're going to start by focusing on the negative space. We're going to draw these spaces. So these little marks which i'm going to make sure i put in one two three four five these are going to be helpful too they're going to play in as well um let's see here all right let me take a look one two three four looks good good job louise perfect thanks all right so now that we've got these what is negative space what, what is it what's in between it's, it's, the, the shape that's not the subject. it's the shape that's not the subject and it's crucial to getting a drawing right it's as important to get the shape between things as it is to get the shape um, of things and here's the thing that's really interesting about it what's interesting about the negative space shapes right is that often it's easier to draw them than the subject so if i get this space right i get this space right and i get this space right i have my subject, I have drawn in my ears. If I draw the shapes around the ears. So that is the kind of mind weirdness that you kind of got to wrap your mind around. But it's it's kind of, it's critical really to getting things right, uh, getting things all in the right places. Um, so I think the easiest negative space to do is here. I see this kind of line coming out like this. And then, oops, my pencil is here. Wait, get another one. Right, like this. And then it's kind of a little angle that, by the way, seems to come in. Here. Just right, right before. You've went out already. Meow. <laughs> Meow, it's kind of an angle line that comes in right about here. And then at the halfway point of this second quarter, right, there's a little triangle that goes like that. That's this. So you see how whenever possible, I'm kind of working that shape and now I'm coming over and about here there's another kind of triangle with a slopey top and then another triangle down here and then up and then this line just goes from the edge of the ear to the edge. Is that right really? Uh, bring this out. So you see how I didn't even use it's an erasery morning. Uh, you see how I didn't even do this whole thing at once. I kind of did this shape, then I did this shape, then I did this shape, and then we did that shape, right? So it's really important to get the relationship of kind of where the ear is versus where the nose is. And that's not something you're used to thinking about. When you're drawing the ears, you're like just drawing the ears. You're not thinking about where they are in space. But as drawers, we need to think about that, right? We need to set that up. Um, let's do, so notice if you've divided your middle line into five equal sections, that if I go one, two, if I go to this line here, I can sketch this shape. So one, two. See, there's no guessing. Hmm. It comes up to about here. So straight line out. And then this line goes up. And then it comes down to the next section. No guessing. 
Maybe I'll sketch that out a little bit. And it doesn't mean that I've got this exactly right. It's possible. I'm just double checking my measurements to make sure I didn't mess anything up. It's possible I'm gonna have to, you know, change things a bit. And then here's the really tricky one. This ear is lower than this ear. Yep. So, and it's kind of just about here. So if I were to draw a line across to about here, this is where my end point of my ear would be. So I'm actually gonna draw Right, that shape like that. Then this is basically a straight down shot. Then mm -hmm. the last thing we need to do is sketch in this funky triangle. It's such a different way, but I, I love this way of thinking. To me, this is like, oh yeah, you should be thinking about what you're drawing as well as what you're you know what's next to the thing as opposed to the thing that you're drawing but we're not used to being like that we're used to kind of hyper focusing i don't think i know if i got that right but we'll see right we're uh in fact this feels too wide to me so i'm gonna kind of sketch out this here i'm gonna break it up into two shapes eh, yeah i think i could bring it in a little bit more Notice I can adjust. This ear is also a little bit bigger because of the shape of it. We can see sort of the profile here and here we can see more. So it's slightly thicker. You'll see. Yep. All kinds of things are happening. So what happens in our, our left brain, right? The brain that's not really helpful to us uh, in writing our, our, um, our verbal conceptual brain is that we are like, oh, here's two bunny ears and we wanna make them the same size and the same shape and uh, you know, ending at the same place. But that's, that's almost never what's happening. There we go. The other place where this can be, all these measuring can be really useful here. I'm going to send a picture of this across so you guys can see it. Gesundheit, who sneezed? I think I coughed, I think. You coughed, okay. And I'll take a picture of this. And I want you to observe all the extra lines and the sketching and the like all the racing that I've been doing this morning. This is not like super easy. But even you can do it. No, that's not, yeah, right? The point is not to get it right. The point is to know the process to get it right. I, I've had very few students in my life who can't learn this. Um, and the ones who can't are the ones who want to make sure that when they lay a line down, it's absolutely perfect. Right? They're like, they won't lay a line down. I'm like, you don't know if the line's right until you lay it down. <laughs> like, you just don't know. So. I guess um, it's interesting because if you were sewing and if you were cutting, you couldn't do it. Yes, but you know what the rule is? Measure twice, yeah. cut once. <laughs> Yeah. So that's what we're doing on paper, right? But and he was a really good work, woodworker. Now that you mention it, he was an amazing woodworker. But he he, you know, so he wanted to know before he set the line down. And I'm like, the proportions are different when you're when you're working flat, right? When you're not working three dimensions. Uh, and he struggled. He couldn't really do it. He was a sweet guy. Who are we talking about? Oh, one of my old students. Oh, that's he, okay. he was really old. Uh, I really, and, and very like charming and super clever. And he just could not wrap his mind around the fact that he would make a mistake, right? He couldn't, it was too hard for him. 
Anyway. It was too hard for him. Uh, so he did not. And notice I'm doing kinds of other measurements too. Um, and that's the person who can't do it. Uh, there's two things. The other thing that students I've had, I mean, I've, I've worked with many hundreds of students over the years. Um, when a student says, I have an idea in my head and I can't get it out, and every time they try to paint it, they can't get it out, then you know they're about to quit. Um, they're actually setting up a situation where they can't uh, achieve what they want. And it's a, it's fascinating to see it happen. I've watched yeah. it happen like many, many times. Ever, otherwise, other people get like kind of frustrated. They're like, I don't get this. This is hard. But they're not like, uh, I have to be perfect with every line. <laughs> I'm still too much to the right, to the left. All right. And when you think you've got it, send it in. Mm. Oh, mine is, I did the too chunky monkey. Too chunky monkey. Let's see. Monica, that looks pretty good. Just like looking at the, yep. One, two, yeah, it looks good. Looks really good. And you, you'll probably have this feeling, oh, this isn't right, right? That's the other thing you'll have. So we will adjust these lines, right, as we go along. Um, Sandra, Louise, do you wanna send me anything? Or shall I show you the next step and then I can take a look? All right, coming. <laughs> coming. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not meaning to be chop chop. I'm totally not oh, trying to stress oh you out. <laughs> It's morning over here, so uh, the West oh, Coast contingent, yeah. we've just had our coffee and we're raring to go. <laughs> yeah. Good. When Leah has coffee, we all have to look out. That's right. I have coffee every day, so you have to look out every day. So we always look out. <laughs> Actually, Sandra has observed if I don't have enough coffee, I get grumpy. So <laughs> she uh -huh. out, she's like, are you? have you had any coffee this morning? And I'll be like, yeah, it's yeah, worse when I, I don't. Thinking. You needed some, Leah, because you it's sound, worse. sound more tense than usual. Um, oh, uh, yes, I've had my first cup, so we'll get into the second cup. Well, you're all for measuring, so maybe you should measure exact right amount of coffee to be in the perfect woohoo There you go. That must be it. Let's see. Oh, good job. <laughs> 